We want to demonstrate practically the way it should be done. Good evening, young doctors, engineers, architects, geologists, green scientists. This evening, we want to examine 2020 NEPCO trap questions on magnets, light, and electricity. Question number one, part one. You are provided with one meter thread, two pulleys, plain sheet of paper, force board, two return stand, or no mass, LO, and other masses. One, use the diagram above as a guide, arrange the materials. In the diagram above, thread AC is fixed at T on a force board and carries an unknown mass, LO. Retain the mass, LO, throughout the experiment. 4. Draw a line along the direction of AC on the paper held behind the thread. 5. Locate the midpoints B of AC and mark its position on the line. 6. Draw BP at a right angle to AC. 7. By means of a loop of thread, suspend mass M is equal to 10 gram from AC and adjust the position of the loop. 8. Arrange the line of action of the weight of L to lie along BP. 9. Ensure that L and MO hang up the first board. 10. Measure BO is equal to Y and AO. Evaluate Y over AO. 11. Repeat the experiment for L is equal to 20 gram, 30 gram, 40, 50, and 60 gram respectively. In each case, determine the corresponding values of Y and AO and Y over AO. 13. Tabulate your readings. 14. Plot a graph of Y over AO against L. Determine the slope of the graph. State two precautions taken to ensure accurate results. Bracket open, attach your traces to your answer screen. Bracket close. Um, number 17. State the law of parallelogram of forces. 18. A body is in equilibrium under the action of two forces. One force is 4 Newton acting due east, and one is 5 Newton in a direction 60 degrees north of east. Calculate the magnitude of the resultant force and direction. Now, this is force board. These are the two return stands. This is the tray. This is on no mass. Your teacher will write the, uh, the value of this on no mass in the report, which they will send, which they will send to NECO. Now, this is thread. This is plain sheet of paper. Uh, this is the diagram. Uh, so we are not hanging it. So we draw a line, draw a line along the direction of AC. This is A. This is C. Uh, locate the midpoint of B at locate the midpoint B of AC. Mark its position. The length of AB, length of AB is 14, so the midpoint will be 7 cm. Midpoint will be 7 cm. That is the midpoint. Now, draw BP at right angle to AC. At right angle to AC. By means of a loop of thread, suspend mass L is equal to 10 gram from AC and adjust the position of the loop. This is mass of 10 gram uh, down the loop. Array the, uh -huh. this is it. You hang it here. So this one is supposed to be this.
Cross BP at a right angle to AC. So this is BP. This is B. By means of the view of trend, suspend mass MO. Is equal, M is equal to 10 grams from AC and just the position of the view. This is the point. You remove the mass. Then join this. Join it to AP. Same thing here. It's equal to two point five. By means of a loop of thread, suspend mass L is equal to 10 gram from AC and I just the position of the lead loop. You add it there and so the position, then you remove it, you draw the line, the point where the mass go to join AC. From this point, you connect AC. The same thing with on this side. After that, you add another 10 gram to it, make it 20. You add it. That is the point. After locating the point, use your ruler to draw to join AC to X, C to O. That is the point on the right. Then on the left. Uh, Measure view is equal to y and a o evaluate y o. So b o is equal to 2.5 as we written. a o is 9 centimeter. 9 centimeter. Now for the second one, for the second one, b o. BO is a four point zero and AO is Ten point zero. For thirty gram, you add another mass to it. You hang it. That is the point. You remove it. And turn it to C. The same thing on this side. That is thirty gram. So for forty gram. You do the same thing. This is a point. 
kind you remove the mask you draw the line CO then Then the last one, 50 gram, you have another mass is Now this is mass of uh, 10 gram, uh, 50 gram, that is the point, you locate the point along people, remove the mass, then join it to C, and A now then start measuring but we measure Y the value of y when n is equal to 10 and a o is equal to 20 when n is equal to 20. Now we are going to 30. y is equal to uh, 4.5. For 40 gram, this is uh, six. is 11 why when mass is equal to 50 grams is uh, 7 8 is equal to Two point five all over nine is equal to zero point two seven eight four over ten. We give us. Four point five O divided by ten point five O is equal to O point four two nine. Six divided by eleven is equal to O point four five O point five four five.
7 divided by 11.5 is equal to 0.609.